to shift to our personal finance questions we had to postpone this segment because of the interview with uh, the coal minister so harshwardhan rukta thank you very much uh, for waiting by our caller is ready with us so the first uh, caller is from nagar coil in tamil nadu and uh, that's uh, tr sudarshan uh, sudarshan go ahead what is your question so actually i want to invest in uh, uh, equities in mm-hmm. sap method mm mm-hmm. uh and also in uh, mutual fund okay uh, mid cap and large cap good uh, what are the good okay uh, how much uh, how much money can you put in monthly i believe you can put in 1000 rupees a month actually much 1000 rupees in a month and uh, to... how long can you keep the money when do you want the uh, uh, the amount uh one year back i bought it like that no 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 you will keep uh, investing this 1000 rupees monthly for how long will you put monthly. it in for when will you years, want the final years. amount 3 years Oh, only three years. Okay, go ahead, Harsh. Uh, what would you advise him? Uh, well, Lata, I do see the query with me in which he's mentioned that he wants to invest about a thousand rupees for three years and wants to accumulate a corpus of five lakhs for his daughter's uh, marriage purposes. Mm. Now, well, uh, what I would recommend uh, to you, Sudarshan, is that uh, you know instead of looking into equity SIPs for a period of three years, I would recommend that you put this thousand rupees into a bank recurring deposit. or uh, you know with a recurring deposit with the post office the reason i say so is that you know the difference between what you will get when you invest into recurring deposit and equity sip over 3 years is very small now for example if you invest into a recurring deposit at 8% your likely corpus would be about 40000 rupees after 3 years now the same thing if you invest into a sip equity sip over a period of 3 years i mean you assume 12% returns the corpus that you would accumulate is 43000 rupees So the difference in absolute terms is just three thousand rupees. So I believe that if it's for your daughter's marriage, and the difference is not that large, you must go in for something which is more assured in return in 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 returns, rather than something which we are assuming at twelve percent. We've all seen the last five years have not been good for the equity markets. Mm. Now if this continues for the next three more years, you may just end up accumulating nothing. So the risk that you're taking uh, in by investing into mid caps or any large cap in equities may not be worth its while. So I recommend that you stick to a bank deposit or a post office recurring deposit. Okay, not even a, a fixed deposit. Uh, sorry, a fixed income or a debt fund. Uh, well, considering that the amount is just a thousand rupees, the difference between what he would get in the form of a recurring deposit to what he would get from a debt fund or an income fund, though I see that you know the income funds are you know poised to give you good returns. But the difference in absolute terms will be again two thousand or three thousand rupees. All right. So uh, would he want to go into for something like that, which is variable in nature, mm. rather than going for something which is assured? All right. So at least he doesn't have to bother about monitoring it. Okay, Mr. Sudarshan, that's the tried and tested route for you. No, uh, uh, no surprises. Uh, nothing to learn. Uh, an FD, a bank FD, or a post office is what uh, the expert recommends for you. Let's go across to Santosh Pawar. He is calling us from Akola in Maharashtra with his question. Hi, Santosh. Hi ma'am. Hi, could you tell us your question? Yeah, actually I want to invest for my ma- daughter's marriage and education. Uh, monthly 5000 rupees uh, I want to invest. Right now I am investing in Bigla Sun Life for uh, 2000 rupees and Reliance Growth Fund 1000 rupees. These uh, two SIP I am investing from last two years. Okay. And do you have a goal and how much amount you want to accumulate and after 35. how many years? Thirty-five lakh, twenty years. Okay. All right, uh, Harsh. What's the advice? It's easy, right? Thirty-five uh, lakh in twenty years. Absolutely, and uh, you know, contrary to what we've just advised in the previous uh, for the previous caller, I would say that Santosh can comfortably start investing into equity mutual funds. Now, even if I take a long-term equity average of fourteen percent returns, the corpus that we'll accumulate after twenty years is about sixty-four lakhs. So that's the advantage of starting early. You know, he's got 20 years in hand, and if he's starting off now, he tends to accumulate more than about uh, double of what he's expecting to do so. Mm-hmm. So, which is a very nice thing. What he could do right now is that you know we can split this amount into two parts. Invest two and a half thousand rupees per month into the Reliance fund that he already has, and the other two and a half thousand he can allocate towards an index fund, which is uh, more of a passively managed fund. So, so which I can name, which is uh, Franklin India Index Fund, the BSC Sensex plan. Now one point further I want to take him is that I also see in his query that he doesn't doesn't have any insurance of any form. Mm. Now uh, okay there are two earning members in the family with just the child as a dependent. But Santosh you need to understand one thing that you will save this 5000 rupees a month only if you're alive and you're earning. 
in case there is some disruption in the income due to death of the earning member the savings is not going to happen the investments are not going to be you know accumulating in the for the corpus of your child so in that context at least in this goal if i take just this goal into perspective you need to have an insurance of at least 35 lakhs which is uh, year marked for the education and marriage purposes of your daughter obviously i'm telling you that you should buy even more of insurance to cover the other income requirements of your family but at least to begin with secure the corpus that you want her to have whether you're living or you're not living your daughter is going to require it so secure it if you're alive you will save uh, for it and if you're not then at least you have the insurance which takes care of that requirement okay so santosh a term plan is also what you should seriously consider uh, for uh, your insurance needs uh, okay thanks a lot for joining us harshwardhan